So these are two extra steps that we do to minimize the contour irregularities of the patient. And you can see it's coming back through this cannula, even though there's no suction here, because all this fat is being liquefied with the basket cannula. So that does two things. One, it decreases contour irregularities. The second thing that it does, it kind of stimulates collagen production on the inner aspect of the skin, and hopefully that will cause some sort of skin retraction. The key is to pay attention to details and have a great team kind of following every step and measuring every area. That makes it much easier. And that's why it, take, it takes an entire awesome team to be able to persistently provide an amazing outcome. Because uh, if you go in and randomly suction fat here and there and we have no idea what we took from here or here or here on the other side, it's gonna be much harder to make them as symmetric as possible. But we kind of pay attention to all these details to make sure we're as symmetric as we can be. These are the different cannulas that we use. And for every area, we use a different one. Uh, we've got like a couple basket cannulas, couple of four where the hole is on the inside, smaller ones, and ones that are extremely small kind of for the wrist area. On our patient here, we're mainly using these three here, and she's doing good. Now I'm gonna go to the knee and I'm gonna switch into this one. So we'll switch to the basket cannula to equalize her and make sure she has no contour irregularities. And this is the last step that we have here before we flip her and start the front part. We already took out 1.4 liters of lipedema fat on each side, and this is total 2.8. Now we're gonna flip her and take from the front 2.2, kind of 1.1 on each side. And that will get her the maximal benefit from this procedure. And if you look at that fat, all yellow fat, and there's no fluid in it, it's awesome for her. This is the most we can do. Hopefully the fat on the front will be like that, and that will be awesome. So we just finished liposuction to the posterior thighs. We took 1.4 liters on each side. And I wanna show you how awesome our patient is looking. So if you wanna take a look over here, she's nice and smooth. And take a look at her outer knee area. We kinda narrowed all the way down to skin only. This is that knee joint. Look how nice and smooth that area is. We also did the inner knee. Again, down to skin only here. Also nice and smooth. We kind of equalized all this fat and liposuction in this area, and then we did liposuction to a saddle bag. And this is kind of the most we can do in one setting, because I want to flip her, and I still want to do the anterior aspect. I want to do the knee complex as well, and the anterior thigh, and the saddle bag from the anterior side. And we have 1.1 liters left per side. So we're going to flip her, and we're going to do the front.